Hi guys, so really quickly I wanted to clarify the convention for alpha and beta uh, for cyclic monosaccharides because there was a little bit of confusion on the monosaccharides problems of the day about this. Um, so in this particular problem, which is number seven from the POTDs, we're asked for the alpha furanose form of this sugar. So knowing that we need the furanose form, we can see that one, two, three, four, and five, this is the hydroxyl that needs to cyclize. And originally what uh, I had thought was that the alpha anomer would be the anomer in which the aldehyde oxygen ends up on the same side of the Fischer projection as the cyclizing oxygen. So in other words, just to draw this really quickly in ace organic, what I thought the alpha anomer would be is this anomer here where the oxygen which is on the right hand side right is going to cyclize onto the aldehyde and in the Fischer projection push it off to the right hand side like so. So as you, you can see here the cyclizing oxygen and the aldehyde oxygen are on the same side of the Fischer projection so I thought that this was the alpha anomer. Actually it's not the actual convention involves this hydroxyl and not the one that's doing the cyclizing. So the actual convention involves the lowermost hydroxyl on the Fischer projection. So in fact, even though the hemiacetal oxygen is on the same side as the aldehyde oxygen, this is a beta anomer. This is the beta furanose form because the oxygen here and the oxygen here are on opposite sides of the Fischer projection.